Hi everyone, so this is the data we are going to work with. So here the location column represents different different habitats such as plantation, forest, grassland and water bodies and the sightings represents the number of times a species got sighted in that particular habitat on that particular day. Uh, for example, we will consider spotted deer as the species. So in plantation on day 1 the species was sighted 12 times and on day 2 the species was sighted 14 times and on day 3 the species was sighted 12 times and so on and so forth. However, you might have noticed some mistakes here. Uh, instead of plantation, this is plantation which is incorrect. This is supposed to be plantation and in the case of forest you can see there is a full stop appearing after the word forest in all three cases. And here you can see two zeros so I will show you how to convert these zeros into NAs. So we are going to do these three corrections using R not in Excel. For that we need to uh, export our this excel sheet into R and you might be wondering why would we have to do it using R we can do the corrections from here itself yeah that's right you can do it but only because you are dealing with a small data set if you're dealing with a huge data like big data you are definitely going to need R to work with so now I'm going to import the uh, data set which is called sightings data into my R studio before that you have to run two packages tidy words and read excel and i'm going to store my data in this variable called my data so if you run this code you can interactively choose um, the data from your desktop or wherever it is so i'm going to choose it from here settings data it is available uh, the link to download this data is available in the description you can check it out and now let's take a look at our, the structure of my data the location is in character format because those are words and sightings are in numbers and now we need to convert the locations into factors factors are uh, means groups so we have made one, two, three, four observations from plantations. So we will consider it as a single group and similarly three observations from forest. So it's a, another group. So we are going to convert our, our locations into factors. Actually we are telling R that these are, are groups. Done and if you look at the count of different groups you can see the term the word forest is appearing three times which means uh, three observations were made from forest and similarly seven observations were made from grasslands on seven different days and from plantations three different observations were made but actually we made four observations but we typed plantation incorrectly here so R is thinking that this is a separate group so actually we need to correct it and put it back to the plantation itself so now we are going to do it so we have to correct three mistakes first one this thing plantation then we have to remove this dot from the word forest and also we will convert the zeros into ms so let's begin this is the code you are going to use to correct the mistake. First of all, we will call the function mutate and you are going to work with my data and the mistake lies in the location column. So location is equal to record. Record is the function, the important function used for, you know, correcting the spellings. And dot x, we will specify dot x as location, the column name and this is going to be the incorrect word which needs to be replaced with the correct word so on the left side left side we will uh, type the incorrect word and the, on the right side we need to type the correct word so we are replacing forest full stop with just forest 
I'm going to run this code and it's done. See now the dot has, has been disappeared and similarly I'm going to do the same thing in the case of plantation. So I'm going to replace plantation with plantation. Done. So it is also got corrected. Now if you take a count again you can see uh, the groups have been correctly classified three observations from forest, seven observations from grassland and plantation and water body. So now we have tidied up our data set. And finally we need to do one more change or correction which is to convert the zeros into NAs. So for that we can call the function mutate again and we are going to work on my data and we are telling R that in sightings column uh, we need to convert zeros into NA if the number of sightings is equal to zero. So if you run that code, the R will convert this NAs into, sorry, zeros into NAs. So that's what we have done. So that's it. This is how make spelling corrections in R. So this is going to be very helpful if you are dealing with huge data set. So try it out. The R code is available in the description. You can download and do it yourself. Thanks for watching.